Hi, my name is Matt and I work at Canopy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install the Canopy Kids app on your child's iOS devices. So that means iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch. You can see here, this is the, um, this is the child profile we're working with, Mark. And so I have not installed Canopy on this device. You can see not installed. Now, if you haven't created a child profile yet, you go down here and click Add Device. But for this example, we're going to go ahead and install Canopy on, for Mark. So this gives you three options. The first is you can go to this website, which is what I'm going to show you. But I recommend you all use one of these two options. So if the device has email or if it is a phone and you can text it, then I recommend you do use one of the, these two things. What that'll do is that'll let you skip the sign-in page and go straight to the installation. For this device, I'm going to go ahead and show you my iPhone. So this is Mark's iPhone. So we're going over here and we are going to open uh, the web browser. And I'm just going to type in that URL that we saw earlier, canopy.us slash install and hit go. So this gives you two options. Of course, we have an account because we've already set up a child profile. So I'm gonna type, I'm gonna click, I have an account. And then I'm just gonna log in with my, uh, with my details. So this is my tester account email. There we go. So now this is Mark's phone that you're looking at right here. And so I want to, when it says, which child's device is this? I'm gonna say Mark, click Mark. This is the first page, so I'm just going to say continue with the installation. So Canopy does a lot more than most apps do. We, we have to to keep your kids safe. And so it's not going to be a normal install process. It's actually going to be a little bit more involved with a few more permissions. So that's why it's going to take a second. I'm going to click install. It's going to ask me if, it'll allow, if I want to allow it to download a configuration profile. Say yes, and then close. Now the next step's a little bit funny. We actually need to open the settings app and then go inside it, okay? So I'm gonna open my settings app right here. Go to the main page of the settings app. And you can see right there, profile download at the very top. I'm gonna click that. Canopy MDM profile. An MDM profile, I'm gonna talk while I just click install here and enter my password. An MDM profile is a mobile device management profile. It's the thing that gives you control over your child's phone remotely. Right? So that's why you need to install this. So profile is installing. I can click done. Beautiful. So now I'm going to open back up the web browser. So the profile has been installed and now it's actually installing, it's about to install the Canopy Child app in the background. So it's just going to take a second as it goes through here. It's kind of loading, installing things. I'm gonna hit install. Now, your child probably won't use the Canopy Child app very much at all. That's great. The point is for the app to keep them safe, not for them to use it very much. So the only time they'd really use it is if they want to request access to something that's been blocked. They can request access, and if you grant them access, they can see that there. So it's kind of a messaging system between you and your child related to Canopy matters. So now the VPN is being installed. The VPN is the system that allows us to scrub the internet, right? So you don't need to ever think about it again, but it's, uh, it's installing right now. Okay, so Canopy has installed successfully. It's very exciting. And in one second, it's gonna load the next page. So it's still installing the VPN in the background. Installation is complete and Mark is protected. So I'm gonna open the Canopy app. Now I'm just gonna grant a few permissions. Again, these are the permissions that allow us to do the things in the background to keep uh, your child safe. The first is notifications. If you ever uh, allow or deny something to your child, this is how they know. So I'm gonna hit allow. Photo access, this is how we do um, anti-sexting or sexting prevention. So I'm gonna say continue, and yes, you can access the photos. Now access the location. This is how we do location tracking. So I'm gonna say continue and allow while using app. A little bit later, it'll ask if you want to always allow it, and you can say yes, always allow. There it is, now it's installed. Now to prove that it's installed, I'm gonna go back to Safari and I'm gonna search for porn. So I'm gonna Google that right now and boom, it has already been blocked by Canopy. And this is how we'd like to talk to the kids. Hey, it looks like there might be some bad stuff here. Are you sure you meant to do that? 
you can do something else or you can ask your permission or your parents for permission. So that's it. That's how to install Canopy on an iOS device. Thanks so much, y'all.